Um, hey DJ, when are you gonna do this Bowie knife video? Wait, what? You know, the one that's been requested for like every day for the past two months? Oh yeah, but I don't have a Bowie knife. You're so dumb. Wait, wait, how would I do a review if I don't actually have a Bowie knife to review? Just do a Weapons Explained episode about it. Oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm dumb. Well, let's jump right into it then. What's up guys, this is the old ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This is the one stop shop for all your martial arts and weapons needs. Now this video is a special video if you've noticed, it's even coming out on the not normal posting day and that's because this video is a special request submitted by the true OG and supporter of this channel, Chris Sorensen. I really hope I pronounced your last name wrong but since you've been watching this channel you know I'm terrible at that. But he's been asking me for so long to explain the Bowie knife. Like, he's literally been asking for way too long. So now, I'm glad to finally have gotten time to be able to cover this awesome knife. And if you want to request a video just like Chris did, just make sure to, you know, stay to the end of the video where I explain how you can do that more, more efficiently at the end of this video. I, I just can't talk today. I'm sorry. It's late right now. So what exactly is a Bowie knife? It's a fixed blade fighting knife created by Rinzen Bowie in the early 19th century. Fixed blade meaning it's a blade that doesn't move as opposed to many of the common pocket knives that fold or unfold and stuff like that. And instead of folding in order to be put away, the Bowie knife uses a sheath that attaches oftentimes to the hip or belt of the person. This knife originally was actually made for a specific person, specifically for Jim Bowie. He's an American pioneer who was one of the people who died at the Battle of the Alamo. Alamo, I can't speak, which is pretty cool, but he's, he's also a slave trader. So I guess not the best person in the world. But anyway, he became famous for his use of this large knife at a duel known as the Sandbar Fight. Basically a formal one-on-one -on -one duel that erupted into a full-on riot in 1827. And considering he survived that, it meant that it's a pretty good knife, or at least that's what they thought back in the 1800s. But since then, the Bowie knives have found a role in pretty much every American conflict since the 19th century. The independence of Texas, skirmishes during the California Gold Rush, the civil strife in Kansas, the Civil War, even John Wilkes Booth, the man who killed Abraham Lincoln, dropped a Bowie knife as he tried to escape the scene. And that's only a percentage of the many historical events in the United States that the Bowie knife has has been involved in in some way or form. But the design also didn't stay the exact same throughout all the decades. It can usually be recognized by several specific characteristics and design features, most commonly being a large sheath knife with a cross guard and a clip point. A clip point blade has an appearance of having a forward third of the blade clipped off, but now there are several variations of this knife throughout you know, the world at this point. They added salty to the black of blades in the 1960s, inspired by the United States Air Force knife that they were using at the time. The curve and point of the blade can also vary quite widely, and very widely to the point that the Bowie knife can be considered a category with other sub knife variants underneath it because of its famous and widespread use and deadly effect when it's used in hand-to-head -hand combat, it has been argued by historians that the Bowie knife was actually seen by upper-class Americans as equivalent to how today's mass handguns are seen by the public now. Basically being extremely dangerous and needing regulation. All kinds of regulations were actually put on this knife in different states in America. All from sales tax to banning the, con the ability to conceal carry this knife and even some states decreeing that anyone carrying a Bowie knife when they kill the person, they would be immediately charged with premeditated murder and that's why. Because they took this that serious in the 1830s. Even Texas, a place where you can conceal carry a handgun without a license right now, passed a law in 1871 that prohibited anyone from carrying the Bowie knife in a public place. And that law remained in place until 2017. 2017. As of the making of this video, that's 
five years ago for a total of 146 years. Please check my math, but that's wild. And even still, you can't carry them in schools, churches, amusement parks, racetracks, hospitals, sporting events, restaurants, and many, many more categorized places. So that should show you just how influential this blade actually has been over the decades. If you want to get your hands on one of these things first, make sure they're illegal in your area like there that's that's the first step come on and second click the link down in the description there's a bunch of options and designs for you to choose whatever really suits your fa your fancy now i want to make a special thanks to chris for not letting me forget about this video he stayed on my butt about it and i appreciate you bro and if you want to suggest videos like chris Join my Patreon. I know, I know, I'm not trying to sell out. There are other perks and benefits to joining if you so choose, like getting shout outs at the end of each video, being uh, two weeks ahead of the posting schedule, and even more perks coming in the near future as like being a character in my comic book that I'm working on, or even free access to weapon courses as they release in the upcoming months. I mean, they could be bought by anyone, but as Patreons, you will have the option to get them for free as a Patreon. Doesn't make sense sense how you would get them for free as a patron but you understand what i'm trying to say so definitely check out the link in my description if you're interested and into that kind of stuff but until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out if you like this video check out this one about me talking about butterfly knives or this other one that youtube thinks you will like as well either way i will see you guys in the next video